Friends, there is a character in the Bible named Canaan. He was born around 3150 BC. Apart from being in a list of genealogies, there is no mention of him elsewhere in the Bible because he was a bad boy. They prefer not to talk about him. Now, who is he? What bad did he do? Let's take a look. He was a grandson of Shem through his son, Arphaxad. In the final days before the great flood of Noah, when the fallen angels that married the earthly women came to know that they were all going to be wiped out by the flood, they made some inscriptions on rocks explaining some occultic things to the future generations. Sure enough, after the flood, Canaan came across the inscriptions and started practicing whatever was mentioned in them. And thus, he and his circle got corrupted. He kept it all a secret from Shem and his great-grandfather Noah. The other corrupt group of that time was Ham and his descendants, who were against Yahweh God. If you observe the Tower of Babel scenario, these two groups merged along with Nimrod's people, which are Cushites, you will also find sons of Shem with them. For example, the Bible states that Asher went up and built Nineveh for Nimrod, and Asher was one of the sons of Shem. This union brought forth a strong mixed breed of people, namely the ancient Assyrians. Meanwhile, the children of Shem, who inhabited India in those days, could not handle them. Having lost to them, they invented the story of Samudra Manthan, which is churning of the milky ocean in Hindu mythology. Please study it with an open mind and find out for yourself if it is logical or not. So the Hindus call the Asuras, that is, the children of Asher, evil, whereas the other party accuses the Devas, who are the Indians, as evil. If it is not for Islam that smudged out history of Iran and Iraq as it always does, you will be still hearing this divide more clearly. And this is why, dear friends, People need to come out of their religious bubbles and see the big picture of our human history and the one true God who is behind it, which is Lord God Yahweh, who created Adam and Eve exactly 1650 years prior to the great flood of Noah. Thanks for watching.